Hey guys, I'm Andrea, and today I'm going to be giving you tips and suggestions on how to read more than 10 books a month. This video was actually requested to me by... Okay, first off, I gotta say, I'm probably gonna butcher your name, and I'm really, really sorry, but... If you guys don't already know, I'm really bad at names, so I don't mean to offend or anything, and I'm really sorry if this is just so, so off, but I'm trying. This video was requested by Shema Al Muteri. Is that, is that close? Kind of? Maybe? Really wrong? Sorry. But basically, I was asked if I could do a video on how maybe to read faster or how to read 10 plus books because they have a really large TBR pile and they just can't seem to find the motivation to read enough to really catch up. And I can definitely understand this because my TBR pile is so freaking huge. It's ridiculous. And I definitely need to catch up. So last month I read a total of 18 books, which was very, very good. And I think this makes me a pro on the matter. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm here to give you maybe tips or things that I've used or maybe things that I think would be good but I necessarily haven't used. And I hope that what I have to say is at least somewhat helpful and I hope it's just not completely useless. So I'm going to try my best to give you some ideas of what to do. But then again, I'm just me. So... We'll see. The biggest thing, I think, is the determination. Because you have to be 100% wanting to read that many books. You have to be determined that you are going to read that many books. I think going into a mindset of, I'm going to read 10 books this month, rather than, it would be really cool if I read 10 books this month. It's just a lot better to be very concrete and definite about your mindset but for me saying a definite I will read 10 books this month I will be extremely disappointed in myself if I even got nine because I didn't complete it but there are other people where if you say oh it'd be cool if I read 10 books I think they still think it would be cool if they read that nine because then they'd be like oh I almost read 10 books I did really good so I think it's so much better to put it concrete is in I will be disappointed in myself if I do not complete this goal. So having the correct determination and motivation to get it done I think is probably the most important thing. You can't be wishy-washy on whether or not you reach 10. You have to be dedicated to reaching that 10 goal or 11 goal or maybe you have a goal of 6 or I don't know anything. If you want to read 32 I don't know but Whatever it is, I think you need to have this concrete goal, and if you're a rewards consequences kind of person like I am, you need to give yourself, oh, if you want, you can say, if I reach this goal or surpass this goal, I will give myself this reward. If I don't, if I lack, if I go am behind, I will have this consequence. The only way that this will ever be possible is if you really are really serious about it, because Who's going to tell you that when you don't make it, that you have to follow that consequence? So it's totally accountable to yourself, unless you have someone else that is going to get on you, then go for that, because that's helpful too. But I know for me, it's totally a self thing, where I just have to know that I'm going to read this number of books or something. That I actually started last month, and I'm doing, is that I've told myself that I must read 10 plus books a month or I cannot buy any books whatsoever the next month. So if I don't hit 10 books this month, I am not allowed to buy a single book next month, which would kill me, which is even more motivation because I'm like, I am hitting that. And I'm just giving you an idea. I'm not saying if you use these rules or whatnot, but I'm giving you an idea as kind of what you can do, what might help, what I'm doing, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I also think it's really important that if you get stuck on a book, you move on to another book. If I've been through slumps where I'll just start a book and it's not working and I'll move on to another book. Maybe that book doesn't work too. I'll move on to another one. Because eventually you're going to hit a book that brings you back into it. Or you have to have the determination to push through anyways. But this one I'm going to talk about kind of moving on. So if you start a book 
and it's maybe really slow and it's just making you not want to read because it's so hard for you to get into it then move on because you're not going to want to pick up and start reading if you're reading a book that you're having trouble getting into get into something that is going to get you motivated and if you get to that motivating book you can maybe even go back to that book that was hard to get into because maybe now you're more in the swing of things also with that I've talked about this before if I'm reading a book that's hard for me to get into I will read another book at the same time I don't know if you're a two book reader some people really aren't but for me sometimes I'll have a book I'm really flying through and enjoying and one that's hard for me to read and I'll read a little bit of the hard one and then go to that book that I want to read so bad and then stop and then read a certain amount of the hard one because you're motivated to get through that so that you can get to this other book that's way more exciting. Obviously if it's a book you really hate and if you're a person who will just not finish books, they DNF them, then go ahead, DNF it. But if it's not necessarily a bad book but you're just having trouble getting into it, which is totally true because I've had books that I end up loving that's hard for me to get into. But I think having the motivation to push through like, oh, I'm going to read to this page before I'm allowed to read this other book that I really really want to read that way you will read that okay for me I also like to sprinkle in my contemporaries because for me I find that contemporaries are very easy very fast reads so you can just fly through those so if I'm reading a long in-depth series or maybe I'm reading a lot of fantasy or this or that I'll just throw some contemporaries in there because they're really easy to read really fast. If you have contemporaries, that is. I mean, like, don't go out and get them because that's besides the point. Like, we're trying to get rid of our TBR here, not get more. So I like, I like to throw those in there because they're a lot faster. Another thing I think is just mixing things up, like mixing up short and long books. Instead of reading a whole bunch of long books in a row, maybe putting some short books with you. Because it, it feels really good being able to say, oh my gosh, I've read this many books so far. I've read this many books. But if you're reading a ton of huge books and you're going for an amount, it's going to be hard because you're going to be like, oh, I only read two books so far. So maybe you read like a long one at the beginning of the month, but then you read like a short one and then a long one and then some short ones just because it can encourages you seeing that number of how many books you read to be like, oh my gosh, I'm doing so good. And honestly, if you are doing good, you'll have even more motivation to continue doing good. Like last month, I was right at the beginning of the month, I was just cranking them out. I was just reading, 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 like constantly. And it felt so good seeing my number go up that I just like was like, even when I necessarily didn't want to read, I was like, no, I'm reading because I want an impressive number this month. So because I'd seen how many I'd read so far, I was like, no, I need to continue this. I need to do this. So I did, <laughs> I guess. This one kind of depends on whether or not you are a person who likes to be really organized, likes to write things out, schedule, but you can schedule your books. You will schedule, okay, read by this page at this date, this, 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 this. So you can be like, okay, I have to be at chapter 10 by this date. I have to be at chapter 20 by this date. Finish the book by this date. So you could literally schedule out that book. And I would suggest scheduling one book at a time and not get way too ahead of yourself. Like schedule this book. Okay, I'm gonna start this book now this 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 and then when you get to your next book then schedule that you don't have to schedule if that's not how you are I don't schedule that's not how I work at all but if that's what helps you then schedule it <laughs> okay, this next one is totally a personal preference but I say absolutely no to the TBRs except for this bout of books that I'm about to participate in that was the first time I've ever made a TBR because I wanted to make one for that. But typically speaking, I do not make TBRs for my months because I'm very whatever I feel like. I just look at my shelves and I'm like, what do I feel like? Oh, I feel like reading this. Oh, I feel like reading this. That way, you are reading what you feel like reading then so that you're enjoying it. You want to be reading something good because then you're going to be reading it faster. You're going to be reading more at a time instead of putting it down. At least according to me. <laughs> So, like, that's my suggestion, really. Someone's staring at me out the window. Anyways, so, yeah, that's cool. I forgot what I was talking about. TBRs, I don't do them. But I guess if they help you, then do them. I'm not trying to stop you from doing them. I'm just saying, for me, 
they really would hurt me rather than help me. I love reading, obviously. I wouldn't be here, I wouldn't have all of these books if I didn't love reading. I absolutely love it. I enjoy it so much. It's one of the, my biggest passions in life. But there are definitely times where I don't necessarily feel like reading in that moment. And I push myself to read anyways. Because that's when you hit a really big slump, is if you don't push yourself. Because you get those slumps where you just don't read anything. Whereas I think that you need to push yourself. Okay, two months ago, I had a slump. I read four books. I've definitely changed the way I've read since then. So if you were just to go back two months, you'd see that. And if I were to construct myself the way I do now back then, I would never would have let myself only read four books. Because I definitely expect more on myself and I definitely want to hurry this up. So I just want to crank them babies out. You definitely have to push yourself sometimes. Push yourself to read. Push yourself to continue a book. Push yourself to start a book. Just push, push, push. Just push! <laughs> it goes back to the determination. Like, are you determined to get it done or do you not really care? If you're determined, then make it happen. I'm not trying to say that you haven't been determined all these other months you haven't done it. I'm just saying... Like, make yourself accountable to something, to someone, to yourself. Give yourself goals, give yourself this and that. This is how I run. I can only say what works for me. I'm a very goal, very reward, consequence-oriented person. I'm very competitive. So if I say, I need to reach this goal, I'm like, I'm going to reach that goal. I am not going to fall short. I am going to hit that. I'm going to get that. If you're a person who gets in the routine of things or needs consistency, then make sure you're reading every day. No matter how big, how small, make sure you make time every day. Because if you don't read a day, it's so much easier to not read the next day. Once you get into reading every day, it's so much easier to read every day. But as soon as you take a break, it's so much easier to take a break. So I just say consistency is key, not necessarily in the amount you read, but just the fact that you are reading each day I think is really important. Obviously we have those days we're super busy, we have absolutely no time. I mean, I know what it's like to be busy. I work 10 hours a day. You definitely, really, you have to make it a priority because I definitely sacrifice things in order to read the amount that I read. I sacrifice sleep. I sacrifice other free time because if you don't make it important and you don't dedicate yourself to it and you don't make it a priority to you then it's not gonna happen thing and I'm not saying take the fun out of reading because honestly it's still really fun and even if there are moments where I'm like I don't feel like reading but I make myself it ultimately is worth it to me if it's not worth it to you then don't push yourself so hard. Enjoy it. But it's worth it to me because looking back and seeing how many books I've read and how my TBR is going down, it's definitely, definitely, definitely worth it to me. So make sure it's worth it to you and then make it a priority so that it does happen. This is the other thing you should know about me is I kind of have an addictive personality. When it comes to TV shows, I like, I get hooked on them and I just marathon the crap out of them. And I just like get no sleep until I finish whatever's on Netflix or whatnot and also with books if I start a book and I really like it I will actually just read it cover to cover I do that all the time in really addicting good books not that other books I don't read cover to cover aren't good but I do read cover to cover a lot so last month when I read a ton right at the beginning of the month I was going on an average of about a book a day for a little while which was kind of crazy. I slowed down more towards the end because it was just getting way too exhausting. But that is the thing about me. I kind of get addicted to them. I'm a book addict, what can I say? <laughs> so yes, I have that addictive personality so that I will read things cover to cover. And I know a lot of people are better at pacing themselves and not just flying through something like I do. So that's something where I can maybe explain why I read so much. So yeah, I can read things cover to cover and it gets to the point where like I sacrifice a lot of sleep. And I don't know if you know this, but I do. I sacrifice so much sleep. There are a lot of nights where I get about three hours of sleep, which is not healthy at all. So I do not recommend this. I do not condone it. I am not suggesting it. I am simply saying what I do and yes, Yes, I know, it's not healthy. I know, I know, I know, I shouldn't do it, but I do. Because, we'll see, I work every morning, and 
I'm lucky if I go to bed at midnight the night before, but a lot of times I go to bed around 2 or 3, and I definitely, a book I just read recently, I read cover to cover, I started it at 1 a.m. I finished it at 4 a.m. I had work at 7. Yup. So I did that despite my better judgment because I wanted to read it and I got into it and instead of being the person who's like, oh, sensible person, I guess you should say, who closes it and goes to sleep, I'm a person that's like, nope, I need to finish this. Screw sleep. So that's another thing about me and I don't know if I actually recommend that. I probably, I don't recommend, I shouldn't recommend that. That's how I read so much and it's questionable. <laughs> Were any of these helpful at all? Like, I really, really want to help you, and I really hope I'm being helpful, but I'm afraid I'm not at the same time. If you are watching this and this didn't help you whatsoever, you can tell me that. Like, I don't care. I kind of want to know whether or not this helped or not. So if it didn't, tell me. And if you have something specific, like, hey, like, I have this question, what are your suggestions? I'm not saying I'm, like, the answer to all your questions, but if you do want to ask me a question, I'm definitely going to answer it. So, you know, I can do more videos like this. I love doing requested videos, and I felt so awesome being requested a video. <laughs> like, so thank you for requesting it, and it means a lot, actually, that... People actually care about my opinion that much. But I guess if you do have any questions, you do have anything, let me know whether or not this video was even helpful or if I was just spouting a bunch of stuff you already know but it hasn't helped you at all. And if you want someone to keep you accountable, I will keep you accountable. So chat me up if you want to. So yes, I really, really, really hope I was helpful to at least some of you. Feedback would be cool. Questions are cool. Anything is cool. I like it all. I like you all. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys!